let's have a little conversation. Welcome, welcome. I am Belinda Little. I am a senior influencer here in Tory Bell, and I am a proud member of this team for spring training, and I have learned so much so far, and I'm enjoying it. I can't wait to see what the remainder of the spring training will bring us. I am so excited, and I hope you are too. But as we dive into March Madness, March 1st and we get going, it is so important to have the right mindset when jumping in so we can finish this training strong and we can win. But what happens when the team wins, you win as an individual. Because this spring training is all about growing your business. It's all about learning. It's all about expanding your horizon and hopefully it's about getting you out of your comfort zone because when you get out of your comfort zone amazing things will happen okay not can happen but amazing things will happen so you have the two most powerful tools in your belt that you can use at any given time in life and the words are I am the power of I am it is so powerful. Your mind and the words that come out of your mouth has the strength of probably the strongest people in this entire world. The words that come out of your mouth followed by I am can shape your entire day. It can shape your life. It can shape the lives of your family. Anything that follows I am is destined to be. But you just can't say the words I am. You have to say them. You have to feel them. You have to believe them. But you also have to put work behind them. Think about it. You get up in the morning and if you say to yourself, I'm tired. Guess what? You're going to be tired that day. No matter what you do, you've already set yourself up to be tired the entire day. Unless you change what follows I am. I am motivated. I am excited. I am energized. I am happy. I am moving. I am healthy. And you think that and you feel that and you believe that. And that will change your day from waking up to saying, I am tired. Just that simple change of statement. So first thing in the morning, when I, before I even get out of bed, before I jump on YouTube, before I jump on Facebook, I'm saying to myself, I am, I am a director. I am a leader. I am an international phenom. I am a great mom. I am the perfect wife. Before I even do anything else, I'm setting myself up for the day. Every single morning. Before I go to bed at night, I'm repeating the same things. They may be a little different. I am great. I am strong. I am healthy. I am grateful at the end of the night so that I can have perfect dreams. And as I drift off to sleep, I can have those, those aha moments because we get those in the middle of the night. I keep my phone next to my bed, not because somebody might call, not because somebody may text, but because I can pick it up and type in an aha moment that I may have. Like the perfect post, the perfect text to send somebody, aha. Because before I went to bed at night, I've set my mind up for greatness. I am positive. 
I am kind, I am joyous, I am enthusiastic. Because anything you say after the words of I am will be, but you have to believe it. Think about one of the greatest boxers of all time, Muhammad Ali. He said he was the greatest. And what did he do? He became the greatest. You can watch interview after interview where reporters and different people try to, you know, swerve that, knock him off his game, and he wasn't having it. He came back with something to say, no, uh-uh, not happening. I'm the greatest. Point blank, period. And that's how you have to be. That's how I have to be. That's how we have to be. So as these challenges come up, don't automatically think, I can't do that. My goal has always been to stomp the zero the first day, and there's been months where I haven't stomped the zero. But this month, I was determined because that was the challenge. And I said, I am going to stomp that zero. And I did. Before the end of the night, I followed up with referrals and responded back and going back and forth. And next thing you know, someone's putting their order in. I stopped that zero. I didn't have it in my mind that I can't do this. I didn't do it last month. I didn't do it the month before. What makes me think I can do it March 1st? No, that's not the mindset I had. The mindset I had was I am going to stop this zero today, March 1st, period. Because everything that comes after I am is what it will be. You have to believe it, you have to receive it, and you have to work for it. You have to put the work and effort behind it. I can't just say I will stop my zero and sit back and wait for it to happen. It's not going to happen that way. I had to put in work. I had to do follow-ups. I had to respond to some messages. I had to put a post out there. I had to put in the work. But I knew that by putting in the work, I had already claimed that it was going to be done by using the words of I am. Because the words I am are powerful beyond meaning. Beyond anything out there it is powerful think about it only thing i get in the mail is bills if anything that that's no point checking in the mail it's just bills well guess what's going to come in the mail bills that's what you'll see but if you stop saying that you stop claiming that you stop putting that into the universe then you could end up with a check in the mail that you weren't expecting. Something that you had no clue was out there. And it comes and boom, now you have money. You have old check. Didn't know it was coming because you said I am. And you took that negative phrasing from behind I am. You have to put the positive phrasing in front of it. I am beautiful. I am a magnet for money. I am wealthy. I am blessed. I am confident. I am worthy of love. I am excited about today. Just the simple things. When you wake up in the mirror and you say to yourself, man, I'm fat. Well, guess what? You're going to be fat. But if you wake up in the morning and say, I am healthy, and you put action behind that, you can get to where you want to be. It's going to take work. It's not going to happen that day. It's not going to happen that week. But if you say the statement, I am, and you believe it, and you put the work behind it, it will happen. And you're going to make mistakes, and you're going to fall down but you're gonna get back up because nothing has changed. I am has not changed. 
The goals you have written down for yourself have not changed. So you're going to make that mistake and you're going to brush it off and you're going to move forward because you're going to look at those goals and you're going to look at those I am statements you wrote and you're going to get back to it. There was a time in my life where I was a six figure earner, an HR director. I had reached the level that I had wanted to reach in my career and I wasn't happy. Not only was I not happy, but my mental, my physical was debilitating because of the anxiety and different things like that, that my job was causing me. And I had to sit back and I had to reevaluate things. What is important to me? What is important to my family? And this six figure job was not it. So I had to remind myself who I am as a person. I am a boss. I am a badass. I am a six-figure earner. I did not say I will eventually make six figures again. No. Uh-uh. I am a six-figure earner. I am a seven-figure earner. Not I will be, but I am. And I had to remind myself all of the potential that I had, that I was healthy and I could get back to being healthy, but I had to get rid of some things. And I had to have faith and belief in myself and I had to put in the work and I am putting in the work to get to where I want to be. And every single day I wake up and I remind myself who I am. And I am motivated. I am determined. I am confident. And you can be too. Use those words daily. Write them down. We had to write our goals today and put them in a place where we could see them every day. When you write down your goals, you write down 10 I am statements. 10. I know you have 10 I am statements in you. I gave you 10. Google it. You'll find 10 and then some. And every day when you look at those goals, you look at those I am statements and you say them to remind yourself so you never forget the potential, the possibilities that you have. Because you are amazing. And you signed up for this opportunity for a reason. And you signed up for spring training for a reason. So remember that reason and write that down in your I am statements. And each morning as you look at those goals, Remind yourself. And at night before you turn in for the day, look at those goals. Read those I am statements. Feel it. Believe it. And then put action to it. Because they are the most powerful words that you could possibly ever use in your entire life. So, I didn't want to keep you guys too long. I just wanted to get on here and give you the power I am. You've heard it before. You're going to hear it over and over again from so many different people. But each time I hear it, it's just a reminder for me of the things that I'm capable of, the things that I can do, the words that I can share. So I hope this has helped you. I hope this will help you along spring training. Get those negative thoughts. Get those negative thoughts out of your head and fill them with positive thoughts. Please fill them with positive thoughts. Today, right now, I am a positive person. Say it, do it, feel it, believe it. So, until next time, everybody, you know how we do it. Deuces.